Welcome to another Dragonlance Saga readings episode. My name is Adam, and today I'm reading the DC comic Dragonlance number 7, Raceland's Pawn, part 3 of 4, City of Death. I'd like to take a moment and thank the members of this channel, and invite you to consider becoming a member by visiting the link in the description below. There are words that shatter worlds. There are commands that must be obeyed. Speak, Raceland Magia. As you wish, my queen, so shall it be. Everything that you require has been made ready. When the call is sounded, I will carry out the task that you have set before me. Of this, I swear, you may be confident. I am confident, Wizard of the Black Robes, that you are a man of great ambition. As such, you may serve well the cause of darkness. But remember this. I would know at once if you were plotting to betray me. My queen... My goddess, let me say it plainly, I live to serve only you, and betrayal is the notion furthest from my mind. <laughs> Have you gone mad, Calthanen? Your cackling's loud enough to wake the dead! What's he doing, Mirella? Doing? Why, I'm doing what she's always expected, and yet never believed I'd dare. And even she must fall before me. Stop it, Calthanon. Oh! That's Mirella, your friend. You've got to listen to reason. And if you won't listen... Then I'll make you stop! I'll... Huh? That won't be necessary. What is it, Morella? What's wrong with him? What? What was I... Look over there, my friend. Look at the dark spires that radiate malevolence. A stone could feel. And you will see that is what's wrong with him. It is the Temple of Istar reborn as a palace of evil, a testament to the power of Tachesis, Queen of Darkness. Not that I doubt your words, Morella, but how is it that a pirate like yourself comes to know so much? I know magic, Elf. I've had the talent since I was a small child, and even studied with a white-robed master. I was preparing to take the test of high sorcery when the dragon armies came to my village. Had I not joined the river pirates who fought the evil ones, I... Hold! Who's that? Draconians! They'll soon be dead, Draconians! Don't be so certain, Elf. Overconfidence can kill. And so can a good blade, when placed in the right hand. He's all yours, Natch. Wait, you promised I'd never have to toast this. Sword. Hey, I did it. I did it. You did well, my gnome friend. But be glad you had allies today. For you would not have killed a second Draconian with the same blade. Oh, the creature's turned to stone. And my short sword stuck in it. Not that I wanted to use it again, but still. As a keepsake, it would have done rather nicely. And do you know how the dragon men found us, Calthanon? By sniffing out the powerful magic 
that's got hold of you. They were drawn to you as surely as you were drawn here to Naraka. You seem to have a lot of answers, Mirella, even to questions not yet formed. Back in Calaman, you guessed where I was heading almost before I knew myself. It was hardly a guess. Look again at that perverted temple. Naraka is now the locus of dark magic in the world, and it is clearly a dark force that has seized control of you, even compelled you to act against your own will. I find this hard to accept, despite the things that I've been through. Do you mean to say that you can see this supposed black magic within me? With a simple spell detecting magic, you can see it for yourself. Father of good, what curse is this that's taken over me? And who? The wizard. The black-robed wizard I met outside Palanthus. He is responsible somehow. He's been manipulating me all along. Question is, what's he been manipulating you for? The wizard serves the Queen of Darkness, and she is bent on conquering all of Kryn. They must mean to use you, Kalthanan, to further that plan of conquest. And although I can't tell how or why you've become so important, I believe the Dark Queen's scheme is about to come to its fruition. Then we'd better stop the wizard now, before it's too late. First, we need to get inside the city. How are we going to do that? I think I found a way. Do you see that hole? It looks like a cave or a tunnel of some kind. A tunnel that I believe may take us underneath the city wall. If so, we could reach the temple undetected by soldiers or the dragon armies. I don't know. What's this I think and we could and may take us stuff all of a sudden? She's been right so far, Natch, and it's the only way. Only because I don't have my jumping stick. It would have been just the thing to get us over the wall. And if you had not told me I was useless and I should get rid of it, then I'd still have it and we... Odd. I would have expected it to be pitch black this deep in the tunnel. But it's glowing with an eerie light. Your magic, Marilla? No. This light comes from bits of luminescent rock found underground. They use it to navigate the subterranean world. They? Oh, who's they? The creatures that burrow these tunnels, of course. What do you mean? You didn't say anything about creatures! Didn't I? Ah, look, the tunnel opens up ahead. We're almost at our destination. Do you, um, see, um, any, um, creatures in there? There's nothing to worry about, Natch. It's all clear. The burrowers come and gone, I suspect. <laughs> Don't look now, Marilla. But here it comes again! Let's go! We've got to run! Run where, elf? We have to stand and fight! Less standing and more fighting, then! First things first. Now don't distract me. I feel clumsy enough with this sword in hand. A dagger's my weapon. But that just wouldn't do for what I have in mind. Now we fight Kalthanan. Losing its stinger didn't hurt the monster much, but at least it can't poison us with it now. Although, it can still swallow a man whole. So watch out! Give it everything you've got, Kalthanan! The purple worm's not easy to kill! But they have been killed, haven't they? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not really sure. I wish you hadn't told me the truth. Hey! Natch! 
What on Kryn do you think you're doing? Get away! It's okay, Kalthanan! Splut! I've got an idea! Quick thinking, little friend! Giving the worm a dose of its own poison! But we'd better stay on guard! There's still life left in the monster! Not when I'm finished with it! Believe me, Elf, it will finish us if we don't flee before it revives! But I'm not sure where we... Leave it to me, Morella. I'm on a roll now! There's a tunnel that'll take us further underneath the city! And it's too small for old Razor Mouth to get through! Into the hole, then! Fast as you can! Oh boy! Looks like Morella was right! You know, this reminds me of... Natch! Stop prattling and move! Crash! If you don't mind! Foom! Thump! Morella! Have no fear, it's trying to enlarge the tunnel, but that will take some time. And we have more immediate concerns. Now, be very quiet, both of you. We don't want to wake the babies. Eep! A magic spell will deepen their slumber. So we can see exactly what we've got ourselves into. F thump thump. A dead end is what it looks like, and Mama Worm's not far behind. Don't give up hope. We're only a few feet below the surface. You'd better stand clear, but stand clear! Well, come on, you two. Hey, how about a little warning next time? That hardly seems to be our pirate friend's style, Natch. Why worry us with warnings about monsters and cavens when we'll find out soon enough? If the truth be known, Kalthanan, there was even more to worry about, and we're lucky the worms were all we had to face. The evil forces gathered here are calling out to mindless monsters around the world. Like a beacon of blackness that is darker still than the darkest hour of night. And cold enough to chill the bones. I can almost touch the evil in the air. Indeed. It's Tekesis, the Queen of Darkness. She is very close now. Almost manifest upon Kryn. Almost? There is still some barrier to her entry. A power or person that is keeping her back. And it may be up to us to see that she continues to be so restrained. Let's go then. Ah. Uh, in there? I, um, don't suppose you know what we'll find? Or where the exits are, perhaps? I just thought that at this time we could... No, we can't. Not if we value our lives. Oh, I do! I do! Wait. Voices up ahead. There's a commotion going on beyond that door. I'll get closer and... Great Paladine! Soldiers of the Dragon Army! They're High Lords too! And above the rabble! Him! It's the Black Robe! My Dark Tormentor! But that's not all, Kalthanan. Look again! He stands fast at the side of the Queen of Darkness! She's staring so intently, watching something. Two of the Dragon Army in mortal combat! Allies turned against each other! For evil always feeds upon itself, and that is why there's still a chance for good to triumph and save Kryn from the scourge of the Dark Queen. Not much of a chance. 
you can feel the overwhelming power of her dark majesty, even though she's only partly manifest on our... Brat! The horns! The spell is sprung! I must go to him! Now! What? He... he's gone! But I must find him! I must! Kelthanan, don't! Resist the mage's call! Stop now! Or my magic missiles will stop you instead! Eh? Her attack falls short, as though a mystic aura protects me. Good. Very good. That will keep that stupid pair away from me while I... While... I... But... But they're my friends. They're helping me. Why am I running? Running from my friends. Running to... You! Out of my way, elf! Or... But hold. I know you from somewhere. Know me? Your magic dragged me here against my will! My magic? My... Yes. My magic. I remember now. The spell I planted has done its job, brought you to me, and reminded me of what I must do. You have something of mine, Kalthanen of Quailinost. I have, Raceland Majir. Don't give it up, Kalthanen, whatever it is! Who? Don't be a pawn any longer! I can't... I must... A battle rages in me. My mind, myself, is not my own. But you can control your destiny. Cast off the yoke of this dark magic. He cannot, woman. Not while the deed is still undone. Kalthanen, please. It's the queen. He's going to release the queen. No! I understand now, mage. It's all very clear. And I know what I must do. Take back your own! So I shall, elf. So I shall! Next, Raceland Triumphant. Thank you for tuning in to this Dragonlance Saga reading. What do you think of the comic? Have you ever read Dragonlance comics before? Feel free to email me at info at dlsaga.com or leave a comment below. This channel is all about celebrating the wonderful world of the Dragonlance Saga, and I thank you for joining me in the celebration. Thank you for watching. This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga, and until next time, Slanjavar.